So what about the impact here in Wisconsin? Bruce Harrison has that part of the story from the newsroom tonight. Bruce? Steve, it's a big deal here. This decision will impact hundreds of thousands of borrowers right here in Wisconsin. They combined owe around $21 billion in student debt. For many former students, the dread of debt is beginning to ease. It's always there, kind of looming in the background, um, and it's a tremendous weight being lifted because it just opens up so many more opportunities. Tia Mohassi expects President Biden to wipe out her $9,000 debt. Coming from a place where, you know, being a first generation college graduate and relying heavily on scholarships and grants, um, but still wanting to do more other than just have a degree, um, it's I'm just really happy that other people can benefit too. According to UW Madison, about 22% of Wisconsinites have student debt. 12% are federal loans. Local chef Monica Blake believes the relief will help her open her own restaurant someday. I love working for Rise and Grind, but I also want my own business and I do my own seasonings and everything, so that will help me out a lot. Blake has about $2,000 to pay down, but not everyone. Backs Biden's move. I don't think that someone that uh, didn't go to college should have to pay for my wife's college career. His wife, he says, still owes $15,000 in federal loans. You're betting on yourself when you go to school, and why should someone else pay for your bet? The Office of Federal Student uh, Aid says 8 million people's debt may be automatically forgiven because the government already has their income information on hand. Everyone else, they're going to have to find out online through the Department of Education when they can apply for their own relief. Steve? Bruce, thank you. More